Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Susan's Just Making It. I'm Susan, and as always, I'm here making stuff, that's just chaos, and making it through life. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome to my channel. If you like today's video, don't forget the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I would really appreciate it. The red subscribe button is below, and the notification bell as well, so you can hit that, and you'll know every time I upload a new video. Hope everyone's doing really well. Today's video, as you can tell from the title, is another bargain bin haul. So this is from a dollar day. And this haul, by the time you're seeing it, is probably a couple weeks old. Um, I do have a more recent one. So this will be part one, and the next haul will be part two. I'm probably going to be recording both of them today, so you'll see me with the same shirt on. I'm trying to batch record and then upload and schedule my things. So um, the day that I'm doing the haul for um, in this video, I try to limit myself to a $10 budget, but I went over a dollar. So, <laughs> um, I did get 11 items, and like I said, this is a dollar day. So, without further ado, we'll see what I picked up. So, the first item I grabbed is this two-pack of glass vases. And I saw these in one of the bins, the bin tables, and I looked at it, and I walked away, and I looked at it, and I walked away. Finally, I went back and grabbed it, because I thought, it's a really good deal for a dollar. Two vases for a dollar. And I picked it up, and my sister was like, but there's no corks. And I'm like, they're not jars. They're vases. They're not supposed to have a cork. It's good. So I'm not really sure. I'm either going to leave them clear, or I might tint them a light blue. And you can do that by mixing food color with either Elmer's glue or Mod Podge. And then you paint your glass, and then you bake it in an oven. And I'm not sure what temperature right offhand to tint them. So I was thinking I'll either tint them a light blue, and I have some artificial flowers that are like these light pink, the like blush pink cabbage roses to put in there, or I might leave them clear. I haven't decided yet. And if you want to make it look like um, there's water in the vase with the flowers, you can um, achieve that with um, clear glue, like clear Elmer's. I found out that tip not too long ago. But anyway, that's my intentions with these vases. And like I said, two of them for a dollar I thought was a really great deal. So I picked that up. And then I picked this up. And I'm a little bit sad because I can't use it after I bought it. But I thought, for a dollar, I'll try it. Obviously, I didn't have the measurements with me. Go ahead and take it out of the plastic bag. I, and it's got a foam in it. I'm going to take that out real quick. But I got this um, tablet cover. And I love the, you know, goth um, sugar skull type thing. And... It looked close to the size for my tablet, and I thought, well, for a dollar, I'll take a chance. If it doesn't fit, it's only a dollar. And sadly enough, my tablet's just a teeny bit too small. I measured it. This actually um, will fit, like, a tablet's about five inches by, I think, eight and a half inches. So I can't use it, but I will probably just put it up for someone who else that can use it um, because, you know, might as well go to someone who can use it. So if you happen to have a tablet that fits, um, you know, shoot me a message and we'll see if I can maybe get it sent to you so someone can get use out of it. Again, it's um, about five by eight and a half. So might as well send it to somebody who can use it because I can't, sadly enough. So if this is your taste and you have a tablet that fits, let me know. Then I'll pick this up. And I don't, I'm surprised it was still there because we, the day we went and I got this haul, it was toward the end of the day. It was like 5.30, 6 o'clock and they're only open until 7. And um, like I said, by dollar day, stuff's pretty picked over and by that hour, it's picked over even more. And I'm glad they left it because it was a score for me. It's um, this pack of scrapbook papers and the sticker on the back says that there's 150 pieces in here. And I thought, oh, it's a nice deal with scrapbook you know, paper. And then when I got it home and looked, there's actually um, six different packs in here. Now, I bought something similar similar to this online, and I paid $5, maybe even more, like between 5 and $6 for one pack. And, um, and there's six in here. So if I bought them individually, that would be $30. And I paid a dollar for the whole the whole pack. So it has, um, the one pack is like all kinds of botanicals and stuff like that. And then um, this one is like all butterflies. 
and they're they're thin papers but they're nice to use in um, journals and stuff like that and then this one's all like botanicals of um, mushrooms and then this one says um, book memories and it's um, reproductions of all kinds of book pages and then we have um, best wishes and this is like reproductions of postcards which obviously are not to size and they're not postcard weight but like I said they're just nice to put in journals um, like for a vintage vibe and this one says um, I think it says fleeting movement and this is just all kinds of like vintage images there's book pages and just all kinds of stuff so I will definitely use these and I'm really excited this was a major score for me for my paper crafting I'll put that in the bag later so I picked that up and then I picked this up these are temporary tattoos they're Hello Kitty I think there's a few sheets in here I didn't want to open it because I'm actually going to be giving this to someone so I didn't want to open it I want it still sealed originally but they're Hello Kitty tattoos again a dollar and um, actually there's another youtuber that's a huge Hello Kitty fan and I think she's a little old for temporary tattoos but I think she'll just get a kick out of it so this is going in friend mail and anything with Hello Kitty is not cheap so dollar was good for that so I picked those up for friend mail and then I picked up a couple packs of stickers the first one is a bunch of Christmas stickers and it says that there's 101 in here and when I hauled um, some stickers before I mentioned that on Amazon because I bought a couple packs on Amazon and the cheapest I found them for was like five dollars for a pack of stickers with this many stickers in it so you're looking at anywhere from like six dollars and up you know 12 13 14 dollars for stickers so anyway it comes with um, two sleeves I'm not gonna take them all out because I'll probably drop half of them um, and there's like snow globes, Santa, snowmen, all kinds of stuff. And I picked these up because I could put them on, you know, Christmas card envelopes, in the Christmas cards. Um, at Christmas time, I can put them in giveaways, on fun mail, whatever. I'll definitely use them. So I got the pack of Christmas stickers. And then I also picked up a, a pack of um, Winnie the Pooh. And when I picked it up out of the bin, like this was in front, and it's, I could only see this pack on top. And I thought, Oh, they're all Winnie the Pooh like zoom zoom stickers but they're not as you can see I shifted this one over and it's tons of styles and it has like all the characters and it's got it's just a ton of Winnie the Pooh stickers and like I said I don't want to take them out because I'll probably drop half of them on the floor but if I happen to be sending to friend mail or giveaway or anything like that to somebody who likes Winnie the Pooh I'll just put a handful in you know a card or friend mail or put them on boxes because who doesn't like Winnie the Pooh so again a dollar for a big pack and these are the um, waterproof ones so that's really nice too because they tend to be a little bit more expensive then I got um, my haul from the two dollar day I bought a pack of these and I was happy to get them for two dollars so when I went on the dollar day and I found another pack even better yet you know I was happy to get them for two dollars so when I found them for a dollar that made me happy too but I was like I just paid two dollars last week but they're the um, drawer pulls that I showed and I think there's 10 in here so now I have two packs but I use them for all different kind of little um, craft projects if I um, flip furniture I can use these or uh, on wood boxes sometimes I put these for decoration and stuff like that and um, anybody who buys stuff like this knows that this is a good deal to get you know 10 of them for actually there might be more than 10 let me check real quick I I think there was 10 but there might be more it says no it does yeah it says 10 pack so 10 pack for a dollar 10 cents a piece you're not gonna find anything at Lowe's or Home Depot for 10 cents a piece so and like I mentioned before too they have the silver finish but if I want a different finish like gold or bronze I can always pick up the spray paint and um alter them if I want to do that so so right later I also picked up let me See what I can find in the bag. That's the end of the bag. So I grab um, this is just a um, like a cabinet knob, and there's only just a little one pack. I just opened it so I could look at it. Um, there's only one, and like I said, I use these on different projects. You can um, put them on jars, you can put them on tins, you can use them for furniture, or cabinetry, 
and there was only the one and it's like just a little gold tone knob um but I do I use them in crafting and all kinds of stuff and a dollar is cheap for any kind of hardware because you're not the cheapest knobs you're gonna find even at Lowe's or Home Depot is gonna be two three dollars a piece you know the cheapest ones and this is got some weight to it it's really nice so I picked that up then I got this and I don't know how I managed to even find all of them because it's like they're not even in a bag it's like they just flip the bag around and put them in there almost like a sleeve I don't know if there was more pieces in this but I'm still happy with the ones I found that were like falling out of it when I found it in the bin but there's four of them and um, my sister's like what are you buying those for what are they I said um they're die cuts um, the plates um, so there's the four different styles you probably can't see them that great with the ring light but there's four of them and you just run them through your die cut embossing machine and it'll cut them out like this one for example it'll cut it out like this and I'll use like white cream tan cardstock cut these out and then I have a hole punch that is about the size of the center and I just cut out pattern paper and glue it and then I put them on my scrapbooking projects and whatever so there was four I don't know if there was more than four but even four for a dollar is a good deal because these are not cheap but I think they were left there because probably nobody knew what they were unless you're specifically a crafter so then I just have two other items I have this acrylic organizer which I'll probably use for either um, my makeup pencils or some makeup brushes. My sister found this on one of the tables and she held it up. I'm like, bring it here, bring it here, I want it. So I got that because if you buy these on Amazon, you're not getting them for a dollar. Just saying. And then the last item, yeah, this is the last thing. I got 11 things. Went over budget, one item. But um, the box has definitely seen better days. But I'm like, let me check and see if it's okay on the inside. I don't care about the box that's going in the garbage anyway. So you can see the box is like extremely mangled. And it's from the brand Han Cosmetics. And I'm like, okay, let me take a look. Perfectly fine inside. Just somebody went savage with the box. It's um, from Han. And it's um, a multi-stick. Yeah, it says all natural multi stick. I've really been getting into like the blush sticks and stuff lately, so I was excited when I found this. It's small, but there's a lot of product in it. And the color is Coral Hibiscus. And like I said, I looked and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the product. Um, I nicked it myself putting the cap back on after I checked. But for a dollar. I might be curious and just like look it up online to see what something like this retails for. Not that I care but um i think it's a really pretty summer color and i'm really into it and i don't care about the box the box is going in the trash so that is my smaller of the two hauls like i said didn't really have any money to spare i'm like i'll be good i'll just get 10 things <laughs> and like i said i went over a dollar but it's okay um and i told my she, my sister didn't want to go i'm like come on we got to go because if you buy five things you get in the drawing it's like some week they finally got a winner for the pressure washer. I guess somebody threw away their ticket or didn't claim it, so they kept picking more tickets. But they've given away a gas grill two weeks, and then they had the pressure washer, and I don't know what they're giving away next. But So that's my little mini haul. I think I did pretty good for $10. Um, it didn't bother me too much doing a $10 limit because that particular day I wasn't really finding much anyway. But... Um, like I said, um, the, the Hello Kitty tattoos are going in friend mail in a little card or something. And um, this, if anybody has it, likes this and has a tablet that um, it'll fit, send me a DM or an email and the first person that gets a hold of me, I'll get it in the mail to you because I can't see it not getting used. No one else close to me has a tablet that'll fit it. So. I have no problem passing along. When I have a few dollars to send it on its way, I will do so. So that is part one, and there will be part two with the following week on Dollar Day. So until then, have a great day. Bye, everyone.